at the Avera 2016 conference, there were a lot of interesting speakers. There was uh, Tesla with a vice president who did all kinds of things. There were people from government. But the two most interesting speakers were the people who represented the electric drivers. And that was first Christina Bu. She's from Norway. And uh, yeah, she's sort of the mother of all uh, associations of dr electric drivers because how long ago did you start with that uh, association? Uh, not you, but uh, in Norway? Yeah, I, that was before I was born, 20 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> 20 years ago, yeah. yeah. And I, I say, well, I mean, we, Norway and Holland are always, we're a little competitive, but I think uh, we're both doing fantastic. How many members do you have now in your association? Close to 40,000, actually, yeah. 40,000. And um, also in the, in the Holland, we have an association of electric driving, the VER. And Eric, you are the chairman of that. How many members do you have? <laughs> well, nearly, uh, no, a little bit less, uh, but 1,600, 1,700 at this, this moment. But after five months, it's not bad. Yeah. And how much do you, how many members do you want to have at the end of the? Uh, at least 10,000, of course. At the end of this, okay. So we're basically, th this is an ambitious young organization. Yeah, and this is a very it's senior organization. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you signed both an, an, uh, an, a memorandum of understanding. Yeah, and what's yeah, in that? Uh, cooperation. Yeah. It is to cooperate, actually. Uh, learn from each other. Um, I think a lot of people want to learn from Norway all the time. But Norway definitely have something to learn from, from other countries, too. Mm -hmm. And especially Holland. Uh, so yeah, we are really eager to, to cooperate closer with our sister organization in, in Holland. You're a sister now. Sounds good, eh? I have a, I have a sister. Yeah. I already but have okay, now everybody <laughs> all over the world thinks that Netherlands and, uh, and Norway are doing fantastic. But we who live in uh, the Netherlands and we and you who live in Norway, that it's all is also extremely um, difficult, you know, that there's a big story behind it and that the successes cannot be re uh, reproduced all the time. What do you think is the success in, the, in, in Norway of the fact that you are now the number one market of battery operated vehicles in, uh, in Europe? Well, consumers are hard to convince, uh, starting with a new technology. Yeah. You need to make these cars compatible. So we need OEMs, they need to invest we need the consumers, they need to be willing, tech savvy people, but least <laughs> but not uh, or last but not least, uh, we need also some help from politicians. I think at last but not least, I would say yeah. that is extremely important, right? Definitely. The at billions the of the billions of dollars need to be invested. It needs to be invested, but also in Norway it's important message is that we don't really spend money on introducing electric cars. We well, we do. Wow, well, we you do, basically you cut the price in half because you don't have any taxation on it. High taxes on cars in Norway, yeah. and all countries can do that. Put more taxes on uh, really heavily polluting cars, and then less on the least polluting cars. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and so in the Netherlands, why are we number one, Eric? Here in uh, or number two then? Number two. But uh, and in this we're number one in uh, in plug-in hybrid cars of in the world yes. why because of the st stimulation of course for the business for the, co the company cars yeah, because of the stupid stupid stimulations yeah, yeah, we had yeah, in yeah. the system to stimulate the cars yeah. now and there's two things I really like about Norway first consumers are buying the cars and they're fully battery uh, operated yeah. and not with a stupid engine uh, next to it so you're gonna teach him how to basically change our policy so that we can have a decent uh, amount of battery operated vehicles we'll definitely have a closer talk about that yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <We> listen <laughs> to her yeah I will do that absolutely <laughs> absolutely we like the ratio of battery and, uh, and plug in hybrid from uh, Norway absolutely. what are we better in than Norway uh, I think in the charging uh, uh, points uh, that the communication in the char uh, charging point the uh, one card where we can operate all uh, all charging facilities uh, that's uh, I think unique in Holland uh, I would say yeah, yeah that they were a lot better they tried, they tried telling me that they're better <laughs> but we actually have almost 800 charging points how many do you have we have uh, now you're talking about fast chargers right yes, fast charging yeah, fast charger. chargers i would say we have also at least six or seven hundred of those and we have about um, you know i would say sixty thousand sm uh, slow chargers yeah uh, and then you count everyone in the people's garages or Yes, of course. Yes. yes. Public, publicly, maybe ten thousand. Uh, yeah. Hey, more, more. Hey, we are at uh, seventeen thousand or something. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Eric knows the numbers. Public. Uh, and and what about you? 
Okay. Well, yeah, you beat us there. Yeah, uh, okay, yeah, okay, okay. Uh, yeah. So, 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 uh, so enough, there's enough there's a nice new relationship between these two organizations. They have a little bit of a rivalry, but they're going to learn together, and then they're going to have a drink together. Okay. okay. So uh, thank yeah. you very much. Yeah.